hello everybody welcome to my channel science education club today we are going to solve class 7 science unit 11 earth and space inside that subunit rocks so differences between sedimentary rock and igneous rock sedimentary rock they are formed by the continuous sedimentation of small particles igneous rock are formed by formed from magma or lava sedimentary rocks they contain fossils and igneous rock they does not contain fossil sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock sedimentary rock it is formed by the continuous sedimentation of small particles metamorphic rock it is formed by the transformation of an existing rock type into a new form sedimentary rock it is less harder than metamorphic rock metamorphic rock it is much harder than sedimentary rock Conglomerate and marble. Conglomerate, it is a sedimentary rock. Marble, it is a metamorphic rock. Conglomerate, it is less hard. Marble, it is more hard. Answer the following questions. What are rocks? Rocks are solid, naturally occurring substances composed of minerals. Next question. How are sedimentary rocks formed? Sedimentary rocks are formed from the accumulation and compaction of sediment particles which may in include fragments of other rocks, minerals, plants or animal remains and other organic matter. Over time, these sediments are deposited and undergo modification turning into sedimentary rocks. Examples of sedimentary rocks include sandstone, limestone and shale. Write any three points of importance of metamorphic rocks. Any three points of importance of metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks are formed from the alternation of pre-existing rocks due to heat, pressure and chemical process and they play a vital role in Earth's rock cycle. They provide valuable clues about the geological history of an area, helping geologists understand the processes that have shaped the Earth's crust over time. Metamorphic rocks also contain valuable minerals and have practical applications in construction making them economically significant resources. Make a list of four major rocks found in different places of Nepal mentioning one use of each rock. So marble it is found in Godavari and used in construction. Dolomite it is found in Dading, Taplejung and used in making cement. Quartzite it is found in Mustang, Manang and Darchula and it is used for decorative purposes. Limestone it is found in Makwanpur, Palpa, Dankuta and it is used in production of cement and for lime cement and lime for agriculture list any four importance of rocks rocks provide insights into earth's geological history and evolution they are valuable sources of minerals and natural resources rocks contribute to land formation stability and the creation of diverse landscape certain rock play a crucial role in the water cycle and the formation of underground water sources. How is soil formed? Soil is formed over time through the breakdown of rocks and the mixing of organic materials like plants and animals. When rocks are exposed to weathering from wind, rain and temperature changes, they gradually break into smaller particles. As these particles mix with the decaying part plants and animals along with the activities of worms, insects and microorganisms, they create a layer of soil. This process takes a long time and factors like climate, vegetation and topography also influence the type and fertility of the soil that is formed. Explain how igneous rocks are formed. Igneous rocks are formed when molten magma or lava from beneath the earth's surface cools and solidifies. When magma, which is a hot liquid rock material, rises towards the surface, it can either erupt, in, erupt onto the earth's surface as lava or cool and solidify underground. As the magma or lava cools, the atoms and molecules within it slow down and arrange themselves into a solid structure forming igneous rocks. What is metamorphic rock? Describe the process of formation of metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rock is a type of rock that forms when existing rocks such as igneous or sedimentary rocks undergo changes due to heat, pressure or chemical processes. This process is called metamorphism. When rocks are buried deep in the earth's crust or experience intense pressure from tectonic forces, their minerals rearrange and recrystallize. 
forming new minerals and giving the rock a different texture. Heat helps speed up these changes and promote the growth of new minerals. The type of metamorphic rock formed depends on factors like the temperature, pressure and composition of the original rock. Examples of metamorphic rocks include marble which, which forms from limestone and slate which forms from shale. Identify the given rocks and write any one use of them. First one granite used in construction, monuments, sculpture, landscaping, ruby it is a precious gemstone primarily used in jewelry, conglomerate it is used for decorative purposes. Write down the name of given rocks. So first one is conglomerate, second one limestone, third one pumice and fourth one obsidian. Give reasons. Sedimentary rocks may have fossils in them. Sedimentary rocks may have fossils because when organisms die, their remains can become buried in layers of sediment which eventually harden into rock preserving the fossils within them. Igneous rocks are important for scientists. Igneous rocks are important for scientists because they help them learn about the history of earth, volcanoes and what the inside of earth is made of. Obsidian is an igneous rock. Obsidian is an igneous rock because it forms when lava cools quickly and become glassy. Thank you friends. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye.